Alright guys, I just got a shipment of wood. Uh, I was a G10 guy before this, but after I worked with uh, the mesquite wood from the build-along, uh, I just fell in love with how beautiful the wood can turn out if it uh, if you have the right one. I got this stuff off eBay. Um, I'd say they have medium, medium low-ish quality wood there, but they have a great selection at a great price. Uh, I paid about $21, and that's with shipping, so it's like, I think I have nine sets here, so that's two three dollars a set uh, compared to if you go on a site like alpha knife supply it's about five dollars plus shipping per set so just as a beginner I thought I'd uh, have some wood just to uh, kind of mess around with uh, slap on some of these knives that uh, just kind of hobby projects not something that I want to make really nice but just uh, to get practice on this is the knife that gave me these cuts uh, it's funny because you can actually see when the knife hit uh, my hand, it hit this one, which is the deepest, this one, which is the second deepest, and then right there, that little nick on the edge, which was the uh, lightest, so the drill just went and hit all three. So, clamp your knives when you drill them. Yeah, dull or sharp or whatever, this one just happened to be really sharp. You can see the mirror polish on there, you can see the camera. Yeah, so just be careful, guys. Uh, as Tim always says, it's dangerous making knives. But anyway, so I thought I'd give you a quick preview about some of the wood I got. Uh, I ordered them in, like, kind of uh, my favorite to least favorite. Actually, this one should be here. This is one of my favorites. Uh, but my least favorites, let's start off with that. We have an Ambrosia Maple, which is kind of light. feels... A little bit more cheap, cheapy, but there's some of the figuring on it. Uh, I'm not going to wrap them just because uh, I'm probably not going to use them all at once. Here's some of the grain in there. Yeah, so Ambrosia Maple. Uh, what is this? Spalted Bird's Eye Red Elm. Also a bit cheapy feeling. You can see how wide the grain is and like there's teeth mark left from one of the processing machines so you could tell that this stuff isn't really that high quality but still nicer than the pine wood I used on one of my first knives uh, yeah you see how wide that grain is you probably want a tighter grain if you're making a knife just to uh, give it more strength and you can see that these were used to be adjoining pieces so if you were to open this up there would be mirror images uh, which is nice to have on your knife because uh, you could kind of have the lines continue from one side to another. So, I, I don't remember if it was spalted, but spalted, like, I think meant it had discolorations from uh, some kind of fungus that grew in your trees, something like that. Uh, I really went crazy on this wiki thing. And here's a uh, cherry, nice hardwood. I think you could see the spalting, like, right here, this discoloration. And supposedly that's desirable. Um, I got these in a set, so yeah, eBay. You'll see a whole bunch of people with a uh, whole like uh, grouped together and shipped in a flat rate box. So you can save some cash that way if you don't want to shell out big money for the real nice pieces from a site like Alpha Knife Supply. Here's zebra wood. Uh, as I go up, these are get actually fairly dense. You can see some of the figuring right there. Has re nice real dark lines. So zebra wood. Pull up my desk here. Yeah, ignore all the tape. I'm gonna just put extra pieces on there. This one I found really interesting actually. It's called Purple Heart, and apparently it's naturally purple. This isn't dyed. It's after you cut it, it turns this color. There's some of the figuring there, which. Uh, I don't know, maybe I have to find some kind of design that goes with this kind of wood. And then we have Jatoba. Oh. One of the heavier woods. Darker, classier look. You can see how tight the grain is on this one, which is probably a lot nicer. I don't know if this could focus. focus. It's funny because you always see all, everyone talking to their cameras on some of the bigger knife channels and 
Yeah, that's not going to focus on this, so. That's Jatoba. Uh, Paduk. Paduk wood. This is a nice orange color. Really bright. Tighter grained. Uh, Bobinga. And last but not least, we have some Bolivian rosewood. It's just really heavy. It's a good, sorry, <laughs> it's a good weight, and yeah, feels like they'll make nice knife handles. Like some of these pieces are fairly long, so I don't know. Maybe if I'm doing a smaller knife like this, I'd probably just cover this portion right here, and so each piece can be worth more or cover more. Or if you're doing a larger knife, uh, you'd use the whole piece for it. So yeah. Uh, some of the wood. Um, once I put these into knife form, I hope to show it to you guys. Uh, yeah, cheap wood on eBay.